This video is sponsored by Zently. Zently is a must-have application if you're renting an apartment. It saves you time by allowing you to pay your rent through an application on your phone. It allows you to split shared bills, pay rent with your roommate, and even send fix-it requests to your landlord through the app. So Zently is doing an iPhone giveaway right now. For people who download the app and pay their first month's rent through the app, you'll automatically be entered to win a brand new iPhone 7. So go ahead and check out Zently. It's in the description down below. This is only available for people in the US. So Apple just released iOS 11 beta 5 to developers and in the first couple of minutes, this is everything that I've been able to find new in iOS 11 beta 5. So the first thing that I noticed on Twitter is that Apple actually removed messages in the cloud. So what this did before is it would sync all your messages across all your devices. So if you had an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, all your iMessages would now be synced across the cloud, uh, kind of similar to Facebook Messenger. But for some reason, Apple removed it in beta 5, and they did say that it would be back in a future beta. So if we go into settings, you can see here that there is nothing about messages in the cloud like there was before. Uh, possibly Apple's fixing some glitches, changing something up, because uh, messages in the cloud wasn't working as well as I'd like it to. So hopefully they're fixing up some of the bugs and it'll be ready uh, for the public release. Uh, the major change in this beta though is the new icons. You can see there the new camera icon and the new settings icon, uh, the top left and the uh, and left hand side of my device. Uh, if you can't see that, I'll post an image on the screen right now just so you can see them a bit clear. Uh, pretty much Apple removed uh, some lines from the camera icon and they made the background of the settings uh, the settings gears a bit darker. So uh, not that drastic of, of change. Uh, I feel the icon changes in beta 4 were a bit more drastic. But anyway, uh, I like it that Apple keeps updating icons because uh, I don't really care for the icons in iOS anymore. So it is nice that Apple uh, is updating the icons. Uh, something small I notice if I go into weather, you can see here that these weather icons like showing uh, partly cloudy or rain or sun, uh, these got a lot smaller. So if you're on beta 4, you can go ahead and look right now. Uh, these weather icons are a lot bigger, but in beta 5, uh, Apple made them smaller. And also, I wasn't able to get it working on my device, but I found on Twitter that someone said the uh, there is a new animation for the music widget. As you can see there, uh, he has this screen recording there. And as he changes the volume, uh, something is happening on the music widget. I'm not able to get it working on my device, uh, but apparently this is here in iOS 11 and beta 5. Uh, other than that guys, I'm really noticing some performance improvements, like my phone just feels a lot zippier. Um, one little glitch that I did notice though is in multitasking. So if I open up a lot of apps here, and then if I try to close them out really fast, you're going to notice a little glitch. You can see there's that layering issue and now my device completely froze. There we go. Yeah, so you can see there, it's it's really glitchy. Don't know why it's like that. Uh, anyway, that's one glitch I found in beta 5. Other than that, it feels, it feels pretty smooth. It's very fast. Uh, control center feels way smoother now when I'm going up and down. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want me to release another video today showing little or uh, little smaller changes in beta 5 that I find, uh, tell me in the comments below. Other than that, drop a, drop a thumbs up down below for being the first one to get a video out today on Beta 5. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.